Yeah, yeah well, I want to sell. Know. I want to sell drum alert so well, bad, should... but like I can't get a, a fair offer of what it's really worth. I want to sell drum alert and be free of drum alert and do do my podcast. I don't know TMZ something like that. I don't know. There's a couple takers. I would sell to the Washington Post. I mean, you know, I don't. What know. are they? So, what are they offering? <laughs> Wait, a disavow? They were runs runs the podcast. What I, the fuck? I would I would leave it to Taylor Lorenz. Let her host. No. It. Oh Wait, my god. On, Let's go. What do you think about Taylor Lorenz uh, sourcing your article on the uh, VidCon COVID stuff? Ta Listen, Taylor Lorenz is awesome. She is so awesome, <laughs> and people don't right, understand dude. how great she is because Taylor Lorenz doesn't back down she she's gonna write an arc up. on you now you should oh, do a you like, should do a podcast with taylor lorenz she may have messed up and she's been called out by everybody but she doesn't back down she goes to work every single day and fights the fight and you gotta respect her for that dude everybody turned I on don't. this woman everybody turned on her and she's still out there fighting and look Look, without the Taylor Lorenz of the world, what is there to talk about? Is there I mean, anything to talk about? Taylor Lorenz is actively yeah, like an I endangerment mean, to having every, fun shit every, to talk about because every, everything that's fun to talk about, she writes an article on and tries to fucking ruin their but, lives over. But then you have fun talking about her. Yeah, and then she ruins my life. I how'd mean, she how'd she ruin your life? What does she do? Would well, you like, say the same like thing Taylor about Lorenz, Ethan, though? Because she would never like... write an article about me because I'm irrelevant, right? But if I was in like a position okay. of like if I was like huge and I covered a Taylor Lorenz article, she would write articles saying that I'm part of Gamergate and I'm some misogynist like asshole YouTuber who's like encouraging people to join far right. Pi None of this shit is true, but she would be the type of person to do that if she felt like she could write a convincing article that would get. I mean, she was actively hostile towards all the people who were covering the Amber Heard stuff, right? She was writing articles saying that they were like feeding into like this fucking toxic masculine culture, which good for her. Sorry. I know. I don't so that. ridiculous. What? Good I don't if that. the only requirement for respect is like keep going no matter what, shouldn't we also respect Ethan Ralph, Ethan Klein? I mean, true. Still I mean, Ethan, with, uh, Ethan, with even done. after Ethan F called for a threat, he's still going. I got to respect he's that. Still going. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. 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 The way she's able to make people so upset, can, I love it. Can I ask you a question, Kim? You you yeah. said before, if somehow my wife passed away and I didn't kill myself, would I date 20-year-olds? My question is, is if you and your girlfriend, for whatever reason, something happened you weren't dating, would you date Taylor Lorenz? Yeah. Yes. yes. What? You said yes? <laughs> Wait, yep. what? Wow, what is it? Offers open, Taylor? What is, what is, <laughs> it, what is it about Taylor keep, Lorenz? Keep, <laughs> I think <laughs> she's... <laughs> and I, and I think she's older than me. I think she's older. Than I think me. she's thirty-seven. Age. How old are you? Yeah, like thirty-nine. Her age. I thought like, she was thirty-seven. A, I could have sworn. I looked it up. Hotly debated subject. Oh, oh shit, dude! Listen, listen. Everyone knows that me and Taylor Lorenz would be a power couple. Come on. I mean, it's true. Oh, I just was wondering God. if you, if you would do it. <laughs> I feel like I this is like drama art. this is like when Slasher said he wanted to like fuck Britney Venti and like have a like fuck somebody who's diametrically opposed to them or something like that's my feeling like, right <laughs> yeah, now dude. no i i i i listen i'm ha i'm half joking but i actually do like the character and the entertainment value that taylor lorenz brings what about hassan to would date, no. yeah would you date hassan no <laughs> uh, no well Hell okay yeah. but do you respect hassan no, i mean he doesn't really back down i mean yeah, he, he got banned he got banned on twitch for saying the c word right True. and uh -oh. when he came back he started saying it again he didn't i already I, I already i already answered this when you guys were bringing up all the other names it's just taylor R lorenz i give that respect to for i think it's because you think she's cute that's what it is she's hot yeah yeah she's not bad looking yeah yeah true i don't know i don't think she that's it I don't know i've game. known her I've known Taylor Lorenz for shit since like two late 2016. And she, what? uh, yeah, she's always been nice and respectful towards me. She wrote a whole article on drama alert and stuff. Very nice. What? Positive. Wow. I didn't know, yeah. I didn't know that. So I didn't know you that know she was delusional. 
Wait, she's a drama fan. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Kim. You, you're saying that she wrote a whole article like saying drama alert was awesome. That that has to be Dude, one of the worst things she's ever done. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you like drama alert, you're in Kim's good graces. Dude, that has to be, oh, that that has to be one of the is? worst things yeah, she's ever yeah. done. Dude, promoting drama alert. Ah, oh, that's too. Do you remember? Drama alert, so do you remember do when? Controversy. Do you guys remember? You okay? I know you're on Twitch, so I can't say this, right? Okay. But remember, remember, you know, PewDiePie got in trouble for having the people hold the sun. Sign. And um, yeah. what was on that? It was a sign that it was an said... anti Semitic sign. Oh, yes. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, now that them, yeah. became that became a meme, right? And so I went on Ethan Klein's podcast and he like said he hated me and all this stuff. So on my stream, I said, Everybody go tweet Ethan Klein the meme. I say the meme thing. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. Now, if you go to the time of my stream, and you go to Twitter and you look for anybody saying that to Ethan Klein, not one of my fans, I'm streaming in front of like 2,000 people, not one of my fans actually did that. That's <laughs> the incredible. Reason, the reason Wait, why I... they didn't, yeah, I had to do all this research to find out if any of my fans actually did it. How do you right? know that they did it? I'm just curious. Like, How would you even there, cause there's measure a way that? Because there's a way to search that phrase at Ethan Klein during that time frame on Twitter. You can search all that. Using desktop, yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, Bo Blacks knows the best because he's that's what he does. Yeah, that's what I do like all the time. Yeah. yeah. So, so clearly, clearly, it was a meme. It was a joke. Like it's not a real call to action at all, right? Um, and sounds familiar. Ethan, Ethan's Ethan started. Well, it's well. This <laughs> is a joke. This is clearly a joke. Okay. And so. Ethan starts playing that clip out of its context, not bringing up PewDiePie or any reference to that at all. And he's trying to make the case that I'm being anti-Semitic. Kat Brenbar or Brenbarge or whatever the fuck her name is. Tenbarge. Uh, Tenbarge. Yeah, she starts going on about me being anti-Semitic. I'm like, I had to make multiple Twitter videos being like explaining this whole thing. Like I'm explaining it to you guys now and like tagging these reporters. But like, no, I know what I said is anti-Semitic, but it's like the intent isn't to be anti-Semitic. It's memeing what PewDiePie said at the time and what's going on at the time. And the proof of that is, is not one single person actually tweeted this at Ethan. Like, it's a joke. Um, and so Taylor Lorenz, who I believe is Jewish, like I reached out to her. I'm like, I just want you to know, like, I am not anti-Semitic. Like, you know, I'm and she was very pleasant about the whole situation. And she didn't say a negative Ooh, thing. I about think she me. had a crush on you. Damn! You should. You should. I think that's what it is. I think that she has a crush on you. Got this game. Docs is already online. Wow. It looks like there's a little. I don't. A couple of years from now, I really think that this might be a thing. Pay attention. Power couple. I'm in love. I'm love. The girl that I have now is probably the girl I'm going to be with forever. Hey, hopefully she doesn't break your heart. Until she's thirty. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just Until she turns thirty. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. She can't break my heart. I don't have one. No, I think he, you're. I think that like Listen. you're. If you, when you let somebody in, I think that you become a really big, very sensitive softy. So yeah, I think that that There's you absolutely. I thought I was there, maybe. I thought I was a psychopath though. Who said that? A sociopath. Excuse me, the wrong term. Everybody on you the definitely internet definitely are ever. a sociopath on YouTube and maybe in the business world. I don't know, like. No, Kemus, once you get to know somebody, once you like them, once you once you appreciate them, they be they have they have too much power over you. Yeah. Possibly. Possibly. I think that's I think that's not I noticed dude, that about she's you. She's gonna end your career, dude. She can't. She'll devastate How? you. Dude, she's secretly DMing Ethan Klein the whole time. God. That'd be <laughs> hilarious. Ethan's that would be funny as she's gonna she's gonna pull like a fresh and fit on you with that one girl I, I, yeah, i'm gonna go in. <laughs> be like he was such an asshole to me i'm gonna say yeah. this on stream because we're we're never actually gonna pull this move but it would have been brilliant if we did so ethan was bragging uh on on his show he's like when you and Brantley break up, she's gonna be on here and she's gonna be airing out every horrible thing you you've ever said and Ethan said day. that he said that on his show. So me and Brantley oh, had this, me and Brantley formed this elaborate plan. <laughs> like we had a pen and paper out. Like we formed this elaborate plan where uh -huh. we were going to stage a breakup. 
<laughs> and oh then she God. was going to go on there <laughs> and just go off on him <laughs> for oh harassing her God. because she's gotten so much harassment from, from his fans and his subreddit because of all this. Mm. Uh-huh. Um, and so she, we were going to set him up and, and from then, people like Papa guts saying that she's weird for dating. Yeah. Right? That yeah, yeah. Probably yeah. yeah. That's, that's probably the worst one. Really yeah. Bad. I think that's the worst one uh, of all of them. Thank you so much for watching guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, Go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.